What's going on, everybody? This is Jamie. Um, got a new product uh, to review for you today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring this up real quick. It's called Typinator. It doesn't sit in your dock, so it doesn't take a lot of space, which I like. It doesn't have a lot of complex uh, menus and stuff like that that you got to go through with references. It's just small and simple, and you're going to use it pretty much all day, every day. Uh, Okay, so I'll bring this up and click show window and it brings up to your uh, main menu here. Uh, you can go to about and it just tells you a little bit about it. You can go to the contact here. You can go to the website, the uh, frequently asked questions. You can get technical support or customer support, which is if you have a problem with your license or something like that. Um, registration, which is just where you enter your registration number. Uh, preferences which uh, I think all three of these are checked by default uh, you can set it to open this window right here anytime that you when you first open this application uh, I have mine set to start up when your uh, Mac starts up and since I do that I really don't have any reason to bring up the window so I uncheck that uh, show it in the menu bar which is up here which you I keep on just because it's easier to get to your preferences and stuff that way. Uh, I think by default it's set to check for updates weekly. I put uh, daily. Um, let's see what else we have. Application settings, which is right here, and you can print out your uh, shortcuts and stuff right here. Um, okay, this is the abbreviations that I've set up, and I'll get into these in just a second. Uh, this right here, you, you've got the same menu options that you have from up in the menu bar. Uh, you can enter your registration here, it's got contacts, your preferences here. Uh, basically, I like this because it's uh, if you have an iPhone, you can turn on the autocorrect, uh, what's got that built into it, but you can go into predefined sets here and enter any of these that you want added and I'll show you what these do. Right here where my abbreviations are, you can go to autocorrection which I've added. By default it's just your abbreviations. Autocorrection, if you misspell words, which I do often, I talk to a lot of people at a time so I'm trying to you know hurry through my instant messages, tell people what I'm telling them, get to the next person. Um, I tend to mistype stuff and so this helps a lot because you've got a huge list of misspelled words and it'll automatically fix a lot of these for you. Uh, got more here. A lot of words. Uh, then you got your abbreviations, which this right here is my main reason for using this application. Uh, this is helpful if you have a website and you get a lot of questions and you tend to get the same question all the time. Uh, like right here, I know just from sitting in the Soldier Knows Best chat rooms on Ustream, he gets asked the same question probably five or ten times every Wednesday. Uh, what should you pick, which he actually just did a video on this I think yesterday. Uh, what should you take, or what should I buy, should I buy an iMac or should I get a MacBook Pro? Well you pretty much, if you want to save a lot of time and not have to go in and type out you know what you want to reply to that every time you can use this go in here click the add button type what abbreviation you want which whichever I've already got this set up and then you come down here and type what you want it to say when you type that abbreviation so say somebody sends me a message just we'll say that this is a uh, YouTube message or something that somebody asked me what should I buy an iMac or a MacBook Pretty much, I'm going to tell them, you know, it depends on what you want, you know, what you need and whatever. So, I'm going to go in here and type my abbreviation, iMac, and then MacBook. And there's my reply to that message that they sent me. Uh, so, instead of typing all of this out, just type your little abbreviation, and there you go. Uh, well, this is, like I said, it's good for everyday use, uh, but even more so if you own, like, a company or you have a website. And you have to reply to the same questions over and over, or even if you get a lot of instant messages and people ask you the same questions, because this works anywhere you type anything on your Mac. So it works in like 
over here in the text editor and an instant message, which I'll bring up an instant message with my friend real quick. Uh, he's going to wonder what I'm doing here, but that's okay. See, it works there. You know, it works anywhere you need to type anything, so... Uh, it's just really good for saving a lot of time if you're asked the same questions again or you type the same thing. Often, like the same sentence, you just abbreviate it, put it in here. Saves you a lot of time. I love this application. It's not very expensive. I think it's like $20, something like that, which I'll put the link over in the uh, description on this video. Uh, yeah, he's already asked me what I'm, <laughs> what I'm sending him that for. But, uh, yeah, it, I love it. It saves a lot of time. It's very helpful, especially, like I said, websites. Uh, if you get asked the same questions, like if you have a YouTube page, Anything like that saves a lot of time, helps you not misspell words. Uh, there's actually other uses for it, which I've not set up any of these. I've not done these, but you got your plain text. You can do formatted text, and you can even abbreviate and add pictures. So you can set it to put a picture in here if you want. But uh, it's a really cool little program. doesn't take a lot of space up. Like I said, it sits up here in your menu bar. So it's not another uh, icon down on your dock. Uh, saves a lot of space on your screen saves a lot of time definitely something I would recommend to anybody for uh, or with a Mac uh, whether you ha even if you don't have a website or anything like that it's very helpful and I would definitely recommend it so if you have any questions uh, about this just send me a message uh, if you want to see me review any other applications or anything like that or any other requests for uh, any other type of videos just let me know uh, and I will do my best to you know, try to get a video out there for you. Uh, but as always, uh, subscribe, comment, rate, and uh, yeah, thanks.